Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we have launched, and this is actually going to be like our season one, episode one, I guess you would say, of our new adventure, our gold wing adventure. So we're headed out. Uh, first place we'll be going is Oklahoma. First state we're going, and then we'll be headed over toward the east. Uh, we got the trailer loaded down. Actually, we have our uh, gear on here. We actually have a refrigerator in here running uh, on a portable power station. Uh, this cooler, we have like different things in it. I don't know what else you put in there. Dry goods, seasonings, toilet paper, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Here we have our clothes in these two. Then we got our tent in one of these. Then we have our uh, Nelson rig uh, rain gear in one of these. All of our rain gear. So we got rain gear, our tent, and we use all these Nelson rig waterproof bags. That's what's great about these is we got these on top and they're compression too. You can press them down, make them small, and then it's going to keep everything waterproof. This is the rig gear line. These are actually the backpacks. Uh, I'd have to figure out what the size is before I can tell you. I don't remember off the top of my head. But then we got the two little uh, dry bags here. And our tent, believe it or not, fits in this dry bag right here. So we're going to see. It's kind of a small tent. We may want to get a bigger one later. But for now, this is going to do. Yeah, because it's just a two-person tent. And we have yeah. the dog. So, yeah, we have Cricket right there. He is. Look at him. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. He wants kisses, Daddy. Cricket's ready to rock and roll. So let's get started. Close him down. Back in there, Bubba. We got the extra window open for him. And oh, you got plenty of air now. Yeah. And that don't unzip. Okay, yeah. I'm still learning things about this bag. Okay, I'm on. We're ready. Does it show everything shut? Yep, everything is shut. Got to check everything off before we take off. <laughs> Yeah, that's the cool thing is this thing tells you if one of the compartments is not closed. So it's got a little notification there on the screen. Also let you know if your heated seats is on. I forgot that I turned mine on the other day and forgot to turn it off. And yeah. I got on this morning. He says, you got your seat on? And, and I, I like, said, it's warm. It's, it says 95 on there, but it's actually about 80 degrees right now. I said, no. I said, it's not on, and he says it shows it's on. And I look down, yeah, it is on, and it's starting to warm up, too. And it's like, I don't need my butt getting that hot. Not today. It was just nice the other day coming home from our big long ride from Arkansas because of the evening. It kind of got cool in some spots, so it was nice for that. Now we're going to head to our destination where we go to our daughters and relax and just enjoy. And Yeah, so we have no... 100% route planned out, no itinerary, none of that. We're kind of winging it. No pun intended because we're on a go wing, but <laughs> we're winging it. And uh, we're going to kind of figure out what we want to do and how long we want to stay or where we want to go while we're out. So uh, hopefully you guys all click the thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. But that will help. Uh, help support us on our trip. Check out my Amazon links. That also helps. And we are going to hopefully make a nice trip across country to the east a little ways. And we'll decide how far we want to go from there. I don't want to say anything because sure enough, you know, if I change my mind, we do something different, go a different direction. And so I don't want to say destinations because we don't know for sure. Right. Uh, I mean, we have a destination for today because we had to plan it out to be able to go to our daughters by a certain time. Right. What was that noise? She's a jingling. What's jingling? She's got something in her bag jingling. Okay. I guess she got a bunch <laughs> of metal in there. She <laughs> jingle jingling. Anyway. Jingle bells. <laughs> so, yeah, we're headed this direction down into Oklahoma on Highway 59 right now. I'm super stoked. We've been waiting for this forever for this to happen. And... Some people would be like, I thought y'all were already gone. No, we had to wait to get things, a lot of personal things taken care of. 
Yep, some people on the water today. A lot of kayakers out there. This is no. What this is, Noel. Yep, the old Missouri. But yeah, um, so the way we're packed up to camp is we got a tent and we're going to camp in the tent. Hopefully, we'll do mostly uh, find uh, dispersed camping to do. We may do some campgrounds if we have to pay, but try to save money, take it easy. We gotta find as much dispersed camping as we can. And people probably hate following me because I'm not a fast driver either, so I guess they can build a bridge. And get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll just see. Yeah, we got a car riding our tail end. Oh, they're not so close now. After I noticed them sped up a little bit. But the way these videos are going to be, so when you're seeing this video, it's probably going to be a week out. So basically, this happened a week ago. Uh, because it's not going to go up tonight. You right. know, we got to find places with hot spots. And and we have Wi-Fi hotspot on my phone where I can connect my laptop to it and upload videos. But depending on where services and stuff, stuff may be a week or so out. So basically, all the videos will be like a week behind. We won't be, when the video goes up, we'll be long gone from that destination. Right. Uh, and off to another area. So, anyway, here we go. So it's a pretty cool bluffs down here on the highway how they hang over the road and it's dripping water right there we're gonna get wet i barely missed it <laughs> <laughs> if you don't uh miss it you're gonna get wet boy that creek is low wow yeah it is ain't it? unless it, it may be a lot of it over towards the bluff. it may be but off over that way it's low wonder how many spots they have to pack their kayaks and canoes I don't know. Look at there. There's something up on top of that bluff. Yep, they built something up there. I don't know what it is, but I've never seen it before. You barely catch a glimpse of it, whatever it is. Some kind of a building or a house or business or something. Yeah, with the way these bluffs fall every once in a while, I don't know if I would want to build my house right on the edge of it. <laughs> but your house might come tumbling down with it one day. Hi. Look at there, it's a grocery store. Yep. Yeah, we don't need anything right now. Carbs, gas is three fifteen here. We already got our groceries yesterday. We got to pack light. Just only a 15 liter refrigerator back there, so uh, you can't pack a lot. Enough for a few nights. And what in the world is that? Sound like crickets. I don't know Frogs. what that was. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I heard it's like, what in the <laughs> world is that? Yeah, he seen me come out of the grocery store packing. Uh, these meat trays and everything and he says that's all not gonna fit in there i said you watch <laughs> well they by, did by golly i got it to fit it i'm good at organizing that stuff 59 and 90. we have stuff for pork chops we have i uh, got some little thin steaks and I made a thing of a bag of chili. I know it's a hot season, but still yet, chili's kind of good sometimes. So something different. I've got enough for a few few days meals, and then when we run out, go back to the store and get some more stuff. This is pretty cool under here. Uh-huh, feels cold too. It is, yeah, it's air conditioner. Virginia creeper hanging off on the side of the bluff. Some of it's poison ivy, some of it's Virginia creeper. Yep. Is 
says road closed. To through traffic. We're not going through. Oh. We're not going through nothing. We'll see if they've got this closed off. If they do, we'll have to turn around and go find something else. We're supposed to be finding some dispersed camping over here. Yeah. That Frank found online. We hope it's for real, for real. Yeah, we don't want to. If if it's not for real, we can go find something else. Okay, my goodness. It wasn't too bad. We found a way back through there. I had the camera shut off there for a little bit. Because we, when we got off and we walked uh, to see how far it was down here, it wasn't too far. I found a good spot under a hickory tree. As long as we don't get run out of here, but I don't think we will. What do you think, Cricket? Will they run us off? So, good spot under a hickory tree. Now I just got to check and make sure there's no poison ivy around here, and I don't see any. Good. Your camera went off. Oh. Or not camera, but your Cinna. I don't know. Good spot looks like right over in here. The tent. Because this is a pretty flat spot. Break some sticks out. There's some grass there, right in this area, be underneath the hickory tree. Sweet. Now you look like a <laughs> well, you look like some kind of clan. <laughs> Only a black hat. <laughs> yeah, you look like a, a real biker chick. So there's been some idiots down here, evidently, but that's the way it goes. They got a place for a fire. You what? No, I just got to be near you. Oh, no, not that. Hang on. Okay, so we're going to get camp set up. We'll be back. We have settled in. Cricket's freaking out because we got him in his little playpen over there. The biker chick is sitting over here looking on her phone. <laughs> <laughs> had, uh, <laughs> messages. messages. I had some messages from our daughter, too. Cricket's in his little pen here. What's the matter, Cricket? He like, I want to be out. I know one thing. We already have had two ticks on me. You ain't had none yet. Huh? Not yet, but I will have. Crawling on me. They but seem to love me. That's part of camping. What kind of country boy are you? Yeah, and we're, that was one stuff I forgot to get was some repellent. So we're getting our chairs set up now so we can relax here. It's actually not bad in the shade under this. It says, uh... 84 degrees. Um, it's not bad here under this hickory tree in the shade. I don't see no hickory nuts on this tree, but. They're down on the ground. Well, that's the old hickory nuts. See, I'll be new ones coming here. It's just oh, not time I see yet. Them. They're right there. Oh, there's some right there. He's blind his back because they're green. I'm blind his back. I like hickory nuts. Of course, them ain't near ready yet, but. There is hickory nuts on the tree. Oh, Cricket, you're okay. We'll let you out here in a minute so we get stuff set up. We're not going to set the tent up until a little bit later, but there's the lake out there. It's actually pretty cool. It's not bad. We don't know if it's... It don't look muddy either. It looks clear. I see some fish moving out there or something. Pretty cool. Oh, Cricket, you're okay. Got the helmet to sit there on the bike for now. We get some stuff cleared out of the trailer. We're putting the trailer for the night. But what are you doing? You want to say hi to everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh yeah, I do. Well, she's a pro in the chairs. Okay, that was good. Not a bad little camp spot down here if you guys want to come down to this area. But it's on the lake. I mean, the water is actually pretty clean down there. So we're going to head out and uh, but we're going to head out and go to our daughter's today and spend a night or two with her. And then we'll get back on the road and head over east. So we got to find our way out of here first. We made it in here. Surely we can make it out. Oops. I'm still trying to find the shifter on this thing. She was not used to that automatic. Still trying to find the shifter. We're leaving our hickory nut tree. 
it was a good home while it lasted. Yep. <laughs> oh. Cricket's ready to ride. Yep. We got him loaded up. There's some pretty good <laughs> rocks out here for a motorcycle, so kind of got to be careful on a motorcycle. I think I'm going to go back this way here. We oh, watched I know big holes. We watched around and scouted it out, and there were some other good spots. We could have stayed the night over there, but um, the problem was that evening, yesterday evening, there was no sun. Or no sun. It was all sun. No shade. So we wanted a little bit of shade. Now it's late enough in the day the sun's pretty much straight up. It's getting pretty warm, my goodness. How warm is it? 85 degrees already? But, don't want to leave too early. Pretty good camp spot anyway. So we have just a two-person tent right now, and it works for it fine. It works fine for both of us. Cricket just stay in there with us. It's a little cramp. It's a little cramp, but hey, it's good for snuggling. <laughs> we 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 might uh we might bump up to a bigger tent. Yeah. Something where we can also stand up. We'll see. Have room uh to uh put his little tent inside of a tent. That way so we can keep him confined where he can't manage to get out. Yeah. That's the hardest part about the little tent, it's him. Because you can't let really him sleep if he ain't in his little uh, playpen because he just will not let you sleep. Crawling and nibbling and licking and biting and biting chewing. And chewing. <laughs> Goodness gracious. He bites and chews all over you. Gee whiz, we should have left out earlier. It's getting warm. So, maybe in the next video we'll do a little showing our cooking and stuff. Yeah. We just, this time, we just have chili to heat up. She made some chili at home. And we just have to heat the chili. That's all we had to do. Yep. For supper, so that worked pretty good. Got it. And we brought our, uh, it's called a Komen Gladiator cook stove. Uh, you did remember to pack it, didn't you? Because of the fact, one time when I was a kid... We had three or four Coleman stoves, and one of them was brand new, and we left the campsite, and Dad left one sitting on the ground. Went back, and it was gone. Yeah, definitely wouldn't want to leave it at the campsite. No. That'd be bad. Yeah, if you don't have that, you can't cook no more. That's why I said, did you check? Did you double check to make sure you did load it up in the trailer? What's that guy doing? He's spraying them rocks down. Look at that. Spraying down that gravel. What for? I don't know. Uh oh, big truck. Maybe he'll spray us down. Big truck to the right. Is he coming in here or going straight? I don't know what he's doing. I think he's going straight, probably. Probably gonna dump the gravel, more gravel. Big key, Kenworth. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of a tight squeeze there. Okay, we made it through there. Whew. Now our gold wing is all dusty, dirty. Yeah, the trailer, everything's dusty. We'll have to give it a good bath at our daughter's that way so we can put on the stick the decals that we're putting on. Oh, yeah, no doubt. Okay, we're going to get off here. Ain't much to see from here. Get on the road and get over to her house, and then we'll be back whenever we head out from her house. Thank you guys for watching. Click the thumbs up on this video. Subscribe down below. Catch you all in the next one. Right on.